Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn about what is a test set. And we are also going to see how do you create a test set in UiPath Orchestrator. Pretty simple topic, but again, a lot of things to learn. Now, first of all, before we understand test set, let me ask you what is a test case? Test case means you are testing a specific module of a workflow uh, or a software, for example, right? You are testing a specific module. For example, in the software, if the download button is working or not, is it, or you are testing a specific function of a software, let's say download function, whether that is working or not. Let's say there is an upload button, is it working or not? So when you are testing a specific module, very specific module that is called a test case. So download is a test case, upload is another test case, right? Now what is a test set? Let's understand what is a test set. Grouping the relevant test cases will be called as test set, right? You will call it as test set. So when you, you when you are grouping the relevant test cases, let's say download, upload, it's part of the same website. When you group them together, then that will become a test set, All right? You have smoke testing, you have regression testing. Smoke testing means you are checking the important parts of the website after a change, whether they are working or not. Very important, the major parts. Download function is working or not. Upload function is working or not. So these are specific modules you are testing. When you group them, they are called test set. So this one thing should be pretty clear. Now let's move on to Yapa Studio to see how do you really create it. First of all, on your project, you should have certain test cases. So here you can see for download report, I have a test case created. And for upload report, I have a test case created. Now all you do, highlight all the test cases which you would like to create a test set out of it. You want to group them together. So right now I'm going to right click on it and then click on set as publishable. Right? So once you set as publishable, simply hit on publish, click on this drop down, and then click on publish test cases. Okay? And here let me hit on next. You can give some name. For example, I'm saying Acme Smoke Testing. Okay, and I'm going to hit on next and I'm going to pass it to the orchestrator tenant feed and hit on publish. So till here we have completed publishing it to orchestrator, publish successfully. Now we have to create a test set. Okay, so what we have done now we have published the test cases. Now, how do you create a test case? We are going to see create a test set. So how you do it? Go back to orchestrator. Now here in the orchestrator, come to the folder where you would find your test cases just now you have uploaded. So it has a project name Acme Smoke Testing that the name that we have given. After that, Select the test cases that you want. This can be done directly from test set, R test set, or directly also from test cases. So I'm selecting the required or relevant test cases and clicking on add test set. It will ask you for a name, give some name. Let's say smoke testing Acme smoke testing one. So I'm giving some test set name. And you can provide some description here and hit on create. So once you create, all these forms are filled and then you will have to select the project. So here you can see the project is also selected Acme smoke testing. If you have multiple projects, then it will appear here if you have published multiple projects. So here I have only published one. So I'll be selecting that right. Once you select it next. This is where you can add your arguments. So your workflow had certain arguments. For example, you had a vendor tax ID, then you had a month, 
you had year right so all this you can provide some default value to start with okay let's say vendor tax id i'm providing abc or whatever that proper vendor tax id is you can provide those specific values here so right now we will not use it because i am using a data driven kind of a uh, test case so i will just leave it blank so once you do this hit on save this is to pass some default values to start with so now what happened if you go to test set save successfully and a test set got created now in the test set if you click on this three dots and click on not uh, so this one click on execute if you click on execute it will ask you are you sure you want to execute the selected test set say yes now what would happen all the data variations that you would have given for tc download see this is started running upload and download all the test cases with data driven has started so you can see it will first try to download download the report okay the report has been downloaded okay now it is doing for the second record so like this it will continue all right so like this it will continue i'm going to stop it i'll go to the studio and i'm going to cancel that cancel yes so it is very fast yes okay so i have cancelled it so you can see it, there are two test cases which has passed and here you would get the coverage calculation so coverage calculation has been disabled for this execution so for this one i didn't enable the coverage calculation so while creating the test case if you edit this there is something called coverage calculation so let me enable and save this and let me run it again yes okay so it has started the very first test case with the data downloading the report so i'm testing this download module okay whether it is downloading for different different tax ids or not i'm testing okay it is entering the next one and trying to download so let me stop it we go and cancel and yes okay so i have you know, stopped it now if you go to the coverage coverage calculation is progress this can take few minutes so after few you know after some time if i come back test set test executions cancel cancelled details so if i go to coverage it shows me past okay so it is showing the coverage so this is about a test set and how do you go through all these options i hope you can practice this on your ui path orchestrator and see how that works through this demo so thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next topic